just to come in. <sighs> Are you going to make excuses? No. Good. <laughs> you don't need excuses. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> The origin with the work was with my problems. <laughs> I, um, I went into singing quite late, but was very lucky and, and uh, was taken into the Juilliard Opera Center. And I found that I was just terribly blocked, that I was just wooden on stage. And I wanted to know why. I wanted to solve my problem, basically. And uh, when I went into teaching, I wanted to find out also why some people had a more easy time in expressing themselves and some people didn't. And what I found was that at the basis of all this was fear, people's fear to be and express themselves. is about the voice in what we do. The voice is simply the vehicle that expresses us. Yeah. We're much more important or bigger than our voices. <laughs> that it became very easy to see people's fear, to see where it sat uh, for them emotionally, psychologically, and physically. And so wherever I sensed it, I would go to work with them to help them get more permission to express. For example, a lot of people hide behind their technique. Uh, they hide behind making perfect or good sounds or bell-like tones or whatever it is. And they, they go away from their humanity. They go away from their honesty. We do certain things to protect ourselves from pain. And that very often comes in non-permission to be who we are in our childhood. So I go about it by, by for example, if somebody is holding and hiding behind their technique, I'll have them do things where they can't. It could be jumping up and down, it could be doing ridiculous things which challenge their ability to hold themselves together. Once they start feeling the freedom of not contracting, of, of not hiding behind work, their enjoyment of it and the ease of producing sound is so clear and so evident to them they don't want to go back to the other.
war mein, mein, mein Wunsch, eine, eine Methode für mich zu finden, in der meine Stimme Raum hat, sich auf eine natürliche Art und Weise zu entfalten. Und ich glaube, ähm, ich habe sehr schnell gemerkt, dass das das ist, was Peter vermitteln kann. Worauf lasse ich mich da ein? Ähm, dass es ganz viel mit Heilung zu tun hat, ähm, das finde ich ist ein, gro ein großes Thema oder ein wichtiges Thema in Peters Arbeit. Ähm, sich darauf einzulassen oder dieses Risiko einzugehen, die Kontrolle loszulassen über den Ausdruck der Stimme oder über die Arbeit an der Stimme, aber dann viel tiefergehend wirklich ähm, emotionale, einen emotionalen Ausdruck zuzulassen. Many people do think that artistry comes from sadness and how I've suffered and, and all of this stuff. But actually for, for many people it's, it's much more difficult to get to their joy, much more dangerous to go to their joy than their pain. They're more, they've spent either more time with it uh, depending on their backgrounds. Uh, but that's a, that's a friend, that's a, a fam familiar system and therefore it becomes safe even though it hurts. So the work is based on getting people to their joy. I go in to explore the fears of people with their permission, of course. And what is terribly vital is it's only in terms of, of the positive. It's only in terms of support. It's, it's only in terms of honoring. It's, it, it must never come out of a negative situation because it's the negative which instills Uh, the fears in the first place. That it's only for great pianists? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I don't. Uh, ich darf nicht. You shouldn't. You I, shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't play that. This is where I like to work. <laughs> okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're having fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's not about to do it well, or you shouldn't play it. How could anybody criticize what you're trying to come with from your very sensibilities? That how can, how can, that's what music's all about. That's, mm -hmm. that's, for me anyway, that's the essence. The basis of the, of the work is love. Because love is respect, it is Uh, the honoring of another, it's the seeing and hearing of another, and it's my finding after years and years of this that the fear that is instilled in people that blocks the, the very possibility of their expression is having permission to express love and themselves, love of another, love of themselves, taken away from them through, unfortunately, other people's similarly difficult education. So if there's one basis of it, it's love in the broad sense. 